All right, guys, we're in Cairns. Uh, it's raining. It's wet season, so what better time to have a look at the brakes. If you've got electric over hydraulic brakes, uh, they need fairly constant maintenance. So what I'm doing here today, I'm just going to show how to uh, rebuild a Trig uh, A200 uh, hydraulic brake caliper. Um, give the disc a clean up, um, clean up the piston, replace the O-ring, uh, new pads, and yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to show how to get it off at this point. It's only held on with uh, two bolts and also a brake line so um, if you can get your head around that to get the caliper off um, we'll take it from there I'll also uh, show how to clean up the uh, disc the brake disc because you want to do that um, otherwise you're just going to chew out your pads if it gets any sort of rust pitting on the on the brake disc it's going to chew out the pads really quick so you want to give that a bit of, bit of a clean up at the same time. Alright, this is the caliper. You can see the, the pads are fucked, which is actually good because that makes them easy to get out of there. Yeah, that one's that one's been riding on the backing plate for a little while. That one's uh, I got me money's worth out of that one. Okay, so we've got to get that piston out. Now to get the piston out, you need compressed air. You need to blow air into that, into the brake, uh, where the brake line attaches, and push the piston out, making sure you don't get your fingers or anything you like between the piston and the backing plate, because yeah, let goes. Let's go in a bit of a bit of a rush. There we go. Now the piston is stainless, but they do get they do get covered in a fair bit of crap. So what I'm doing here is just using a bit of light wet and dry. wet and dry sandpaper just to just to clean that you don't want to you don't want to scratch it too much because it it rests on a uh, on a rubber seal and you don't want to chew that out I mean it's it's not like they going all day like a like a car you're not using it that often but you still don't want to. You don't want it to be scratched up and carving into your O-ring every time you put the brakes on. So, and another thing, I leave a bit of dirt on the face that faces onto the brake uh, backing pad, uh, the brake pad, so that I remember which which is the side that goes in the in the cylinder now dismantling the caliper you got to take off the bleed screw first Put it somewhere it's not going to go go missing. Then we take out the brake line fitting. Make sure you don't lose the washer. Washer there, don't lose that. The 
And then you can take off the, the bolts holding the cylinder onto the caliper housing. Just going to put a bit of diesel in a in a container. Actually, give this caliper housing a bit of a clean up, a bit of a degrease, don't use petrol or two stroke mix for this sort of stuff because if you get a rare spark um, you're going to go up like a, you're going to go up in flames. The diesel's a lot safer. And it still cleans everything up nicely. All right, I'll let that soak. Then with the caliper. Gonna use wire brush. And then you want to do that lip, the lip around uh, the top of the cylinder as well. I'll use a abrasive pad for that. ring out
and you want to get yourself a tool or something and just give that a scrape where the o-ring slots in because it'll it'll get a little bit of a rust a little bit of a rust pitting in there Degreaser. Right off. Okay. Next thing we do, get some paper and stuff it in there. some caliper paint. Right, next job. <clears throat> While the caliper paint is drying, we want to clean up this disc. There's a lot of, a lot of shit there. So, Use a flap disc. Obviously, going to replace the brake pads, and what I'm going to do is give them some additional rust proofing. Try to try to stop the backing plate from rusting. I mean, you're not going to stop it, but you can slow it down. So I'm using this. It's called Rescue Steel. Um, RES and then a Q and then steel. It's a um, it's a paste. I'm just painting that on there, just to try and stop the rust from getting in between the backing plate and the brake pad material. Seems to work.
it's a very uh, anti, a very strong anti-corrosion um, product. All right, my uh, caliper caliper paint's dry now. The reason we do that is to stop, uh, try to s slow down or stop the corrosion getting onto that lip, because once that starts to get a bit of a rust rust corrosion um, pitting around that lip it can it can stop the uh, piston from retracting and you find your brake sticking on so so that's why I do that so next we get our new o-ring give it some give it some rubber paint no, rubber grease I should say And put that on, put that in the lip, put it in that little, little recessed part there. Then we get the piston. Ready to ready to reinstall in the housing. The next thing um, you have to be mindful of is you want to get the you want to get the piston uh, reconnected to the housing the right way. Don't put it upside down. So it's worth just checking which way is up so that goes like that hose goes in from the bottom so you want that hole the right way the right orientation so that will go Down there. Give that I'll give that caliper just a bit of this rescue steel just on the just on those pads that come into contact with the with the backing pad uh, backing plate of the of the brake pad. Then you can put your put your pads in. So that's ready to go back in. <laughs> 